All right, all right. Shalom, brothers and sisters out there. Um, Mr. Brother Itaziah again. And I already did a video um, about the Most High's name, Yahweh, proving that um, it's spoken correctly. And that um, saying um, uh, Ahia is um, to say that's wrong. Ahia is the most high's name, but you, we're supposed to say it, Yahweh. If you really want to more, know more, understand it, and see that video again. This right here to show that the most high's name, what the most high's really name, and that his name is not Yeshia. Because there's so many different, like, translations of his name and things like that. There's, um, you have Yeshua, Yahshua, Yeshua, things like that. Now you have the newest one, um... Yeshia, which I don't even understand with it. The people who say it's the same people who was saying that um that 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 um that that other word that other word for the most high's name um Ahia, the same one they now say Yeshia for the name of Jesus is Yeshia. And if you ask them where they get that name, they say, Oh, get the elders and things like that. I'm gonna show you concrete proof. The Bible says exactly what his name is. You can find a lot of you can find a lot of evidence in this book right here. This old book, right here, the Bible. It speaks for itself. But as usually, I want to say this. Let's go to First Corinthians one twenty one because I want to just show y'all the reason why I do this. You're gonna see when I do a lot of um, teachings, I make sure I show different images and things like that. Why? This is on uh, one twenty one, one twenty two. First Corinthians one twenty two. For the Jews require a sign, so you have to show a sign. Our people they want to see something. Like you have a lot of videos on YouTube about the Most High's name and this, but it's just talk, 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 or people just showing things on a computer from Blue Letter, things like that, and they get caught up, things like that. I want to show signs with edifications, things like that. That's the thing. So, and it says Proverbs, this is Proverbs, right? Four and seven, all right? The book of um, Proverbs four and seven. It says that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So you gotta get understanding for this. This is this is the most high that he's talking about that. Right here. And also, Proverbs 2 and 4. And it says this, talk about wisdom also. It says, If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hid treasures. So some of this wisdom of this Bible, you gotta go deep into it. And one of the names that we're going to go into is the name of Christ. Like one of the brothers said, oh, don't get caught up in the names and other things. You have to. He has a name above all names, the name of Jesus. But how are people going to know his name Jesus? Are they calling him Yeshua or Jeshua? And then you have Yeshia, the bootleg version of all of them. So we're going to see. We're going to see by the Bible. And we're going to have to also go into the Hebrew tongue, the Hebrew Bible right here. I know Hebrew. I study Hebrew right here. The Hebrew Bible. Yes. Straight up. I, I studied it for seven years. So now we're going to go right here. Matthews 121. And this is pretty easy to um, prove who, um, who Jesus' name is in the Hebrew. You just have to understand it. Matthews 121. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shall call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people. Jesus. Interesting. So, what do we do? We had to find what was um, the um, New Testament written in. It was written in different languages. I'm going to go in the video of that, the languages of the Bible. But the um, one that we have that's surviving now is the Greek of the um, New Testament, right? Now, let's look at the Greek word for Jesus, all right? Here's a picture of it right here. Is on one of the pictures right there. This is um, right here, and it says I Jesus, right? That's the Greek word for Jesus. G2424 in a concordance. I Jesus. Just remember that. That's what it says, right? You shall call his name I Jesus. But that's for Jesus, right? But now we're gonna go to um Acts 745. Let's go there. Acts the seventh chapter and the forty fifth verse. Okay. This is Acts seven and um forty five. Now we're gonna go to forty four so we can understand who we're talking about. Our fathers, 
had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness and he had appointed speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen which also our fathers this is 45 this is very important that came after brought into brought in with Jesus into their possession possessions of the Gentiles whom God drove out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David it says Jesus in the wilderness during the time of Moses and this happened before David hmm who was this talking about it's talking about Joshua Joshua and Joshua when you translate it into um the English it's is Jesus Jesus and Joshua same thing but prove it though okay let's let's me let me prove it remember you still see the word I Jesus so we're just gonna go right here we're gonna look at this Acts 7 and 45 in the Greek and let's see what the Greek has to say about it Acts 7 45 and wait a second it uses the same word for Joshua I Jesus G 24 24 the Greek con for the concordance of the Greek word I Jesus which means what Jesus had the exact name as Joshua it was a common name the son of Sirach if you understand the old days he had the same Joshua there was Joshua the high priest that's um, found in Malachi there's it was common that was a common name Joshua and so did Christ had the same name as Joshua so let's see what Jesus name was in the Hebrew all right so we're gonna go to Joshua because we know that's who it is one and one all right this is Joshua one and one and we're gonna see what his name is all right all right Joshua one and one like I said this is the book of Joshua right now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. Hmm. But it's the English. Um, so, shouldn't we be speaking a different language, an ancient language, the Hebrew? Oh, and just to prove that the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, we're going to go to Acts 26 and 14. All right, Acts 26 and 14. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou? So that proves the tongue that Christ spoke. It was the Hebrew tongue. So let's go to Joshua 1 and 1 in the Hebrew tongue. Lashawan Kodash. Or the, um, yeah, the Hebrew tongue. Now, I'm going to be um, speaking ancient Hebrew, or what you call, um, Hazakwan Ha'abariyat. Now, Hazakwan Na Abariyat. Now, this is Joshua. One and one. The ancient Hebrew. One and one. And let me highlight this so y'all can even see this a little better. Alright. Joshua one and one. So you can know that I know what I'm talking about. All right, as y'all can see it, it's highlighted. Now, it says, um, and on, yeah, I highlighted my part. I'm also gonna put it up here so y'all can see it there. All right, and it says, Awa Yahaya, Akaria, Mawath, Masha, Abad, Yahawa, Wa Amar, Yahawa Al, Yahawa Shai. You see it? Yahawa Shai. That's his name, the same name as the son of Nun, Yahawashai. It's pretty easy. I don't even know where people be getting these. I'm going to do a whole another video about the different translations where Yahawashai turned, where, um, turned into Jesus. Throughout, it was a history. I got a bachelor's in history, and I know about the biblical history and about what the Khazars and what the Catholic Church has done. But so you can know his name throughout all the ages, it is Yahawashai. All right. Like you said, we have proof here. And like we said, right back in the, um, the Greek, they use the exact name in the Greek, I Jesus, for both Joshua and Jesus. So now the Hebrew word for Joshua is Yahawashai. 
right there. So, <laughs> truth be told, it says prove all things. I proved it to you. I mean, what, what more you want, huh? Have it from a, a brother that studies the Hebrew and know it. I mean, come on, don't go at those old Caucasian um, Jewish people, the uh, Khazars, who um, just find just find orders from the rabbis. They don't even say the Mosai's name. They're afraid of that. They say Hashem, which means the name, which name. But anyway, that's a whole different story. So I just proved to you who Christ or Jesus' name is. Yahawashai. All right. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word and to the Israel of understanding and any all of the Israelites out there. I say um, this is Brother Itaziah Razamoth. And I hope you was edified by that quick video. I try to do very quick videos now, not no long ones. I say peace and blessings to um, the brothers out there. This is Brother Itaziah. Shalom.